<laughs> Ladies, yeah, gentlemen. Yeah, wow. Yeah. Three, two, one. <laughs> God, God damn it, Charlie. It's not even what? fun what? with him. That was definitely water. Oh, yeah. <laughs> not water. Charlie's wow. out. No. Or, yes. or another round and get back in. Come on. I, 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 Do what the captain says. Come on. All right, all right. Okay. Glasses in, boy. Thank you. Uh, not in front of us. Jesus Close your Christ. eyes. Charlie's Look, remember, wow. four shots of water, one shot of kill. Three okay. shots of water. Charlie's um, out. I'll try. Thank you. I'll try. I'll try. Thank All right. All right. Let's do it. Close. All right. Thank you. No, I'm peeing in your glasses. <laughs> I thought I heard a zipper. <laughs> <laughs> Not on your yeah. You guys are good. All right, boys, let's go. All right. Okay. We'll watch all this be water. All right. All right. All right. I am starting this time. All right. On your phone. Three, two, one. Damien. Did you miss the whole story? Uh-huh. I'm sorry. Oh, when did you start apologizing? Don't get used to it. No, I know better. Is everything okay? Always. But you tell me if it wasn't right. Sure. Hey. I love you. I love you too. Tabletop guys, let's do it. Get this over with. Morning, counselor. Oh, please call me Kent. Thanks for taking the time. Made the room here for us. So do I need to do the intro? Uh, yeah. Well, all right then. Um, how's everybody doing today? I've actually got some questions we can use to get things started. Yeah, okay. Whatever you think. Okay, uh, here's an easy one. Has anyone been thinking about what happened? Don't tell me. You started without me? I would never. You okay? As always. Okay, why don't we get you to bed? No. Why not? I don't want to. I'm fine. No, you're not. You're fucking falling everywhere. Don't start. What are you talking about? I'm not the one that can't stand up straight. What does that have to do with anything? Can you just please lie down? I don't want to. Why not? I don't want to go to sleep! Okay, fine. Then can you at least just sit down? Maybe watch some TV or something? Please?
think there's something wrong with Damien. What do you mean? I don't know, he's just... He's always somewhere else, in his thoughts. And he doesn't sleep, and when he does, it's... It's awful. Uh, I'm really sorry to hear that. Uh, um... We can set him up with a counselor tomorrow. No, that's not gonna be enough. So what do you suggest? I don't know. I don't, I don't know what he's going through because he doesn't talk to me. Yeah, he's not gonna talk. Um, you know, I have, I have somebody I think that could help us. So let me look into it tomorrow, okay? Yeah, okay. Thank you. Sure, bye. I didn't ask you what you thought. We'll talk about this when I get back. Hey. I love you. I want to start off by saying this is enough for today. It's not a great way to start a conversation. Yeah, I know, but I've been a little concerned lately, so... About me? Oh, yeah, about you. Look, just trust me. On what? I'm going to send you to a conference in Hillsburg. <laughs> Captain, I don't have time to go to something. Look, it's done. You're all signed up, and it's covered. But, Captain, I got stuff to do. Okay, hey, do what the Captain says. Look, I'm not trying to single you out, Damien. You're not going along. Don't tell me. been to something like this? First and last name. Are you with any particular department? Okay. start getting ready. So get yourself in that mode. After we watch this video, I'm kidding. Who's missing? We got some empty seats. What? Daniel, Florin. Hey, Damien. Damien. Good morning, everybody. Morning. Good morning. We are going to have an incredibly busy few days. Um, we're so excited to get started. My name is Sue, and I'll be one of your instructors today. But before we get started, he's going to give us some of the guidelines for the ranch, OK? So grab a pencil, and let's get to it. Come on. Help me out here. Damien? OK. So, first things first, let's talk about the property. Go ahead. Good morning.
long wharf, huh? Claustrophobe. Hmm. Well, the rooms will be bigger when we build the resiliency center. Ah, uh, that's what happens when you don't pay attention. Damien. Hey, Damien. I'm Sue. Nice to meet you, Sue. You too, Damien. Hey, listen. We may not know exactly what you're going through, but we've all been there to some degree. So, if you were to open up and just try listening, you might learn something. Might not, too. Ouch. I wouldn't hold it against you if you tried. You might be surprised. We can be pretty persuasive. <laughs> now, I want to tell you one last story, and then we're going to break you for lunch. I mentioned yesterday we were dealing with a guy who said, I've been meditating since I was 18. You remember that story? Ron and I are teaching to a room of about 40 or 50 people. And this guy, the whole time we were talking, he was nudging the guy beside him and rolling his eyes and making faces and clearly did not approve, yeah? And so he's back there making faces and nudging people. And on the first break, one of the people in the front pulls me aside. He says, do you have a minute? Could we talk? I said, sure, absolutely. So how about if we go find an office down the hall? And so we have that conversation. But when we came back, this guy is still in the back of the room doing the same thing, right? Rolling his eyes, leaning right against his buddy. And I finally at lunch, I stepped away and I walked up to the guy who was sitting in the back. And I said, can I ask you a question? And he was, yeah. I said, obviously there's a problem. Why, why all the nudging? Why all the rolling of the eyes? And he goes, because this is my team. And I was never asked about having you guys come in here. I have a master's in this stuff. I could teach this stuff. Everybody in this room knows this stuff. We should not have to sit here and listen to it. And I said, okay. I said, um, did you know that one of your folks is suicidal? And he said, huh? I said, I'm just curious. Did you know that one of your guys was suicidal? And he said, no. And I said, yeah, so, so I do, because he pulled me aside and told me. So I'm just wondering, do you think you could get out of the way long enough for us to help the people in the room who might need it? Could you do that for us? Could you do that for him? And he was like, yeah, yeah, I could do that. So the reason I tell you that story is this. Maybe none of this applies to you. Maybe you don't think this is ever gonna be a problem. Maybe all the folks you work with are strong and smart, you hang out off duty, it's all good, they all have mustaches like yours. But somebody, I guarantee you somebody in this room has been struggling, and I'm here for you. I'm here for you. If everybody around you doesn't seem to be impacted by this, doesn't seem to be affected by this, I don't care, I'm here for you. Check it out, we've got your families coming in here in just a second. So do me a favor, don't go rushing out to your spouses, okay? Just sit here and let them get settled. And you over there, I see you twisting your mustache, get ready to see your life. Are you expecting right anybody to show up? I don't know. So quickly before we leave, I want everybody out to the grass and we're going to get that photo taken. 